Let me tell you, the power of I am is not just a phrase. It is the very essence of creation. Every time you say I am, you are not just describing yourself, you are creating yourself. In the book of Exodus, God reveals his name as I am. This is no mere coincidence, for in those two words lies the secret of creation. When you wake in the morning and say, I am tired or I am unhappy, you are unwittingly creating your day, your life and your world. But when you say, I am prosperous, I am healthy, or I am loved, you are setting the wheels of the universe in motion to bring these things to pass. It is a profound yet simple truth. Your imagination shapes your reality. Understand that imagination is not fantasy. It is not idle daydreaming. It is the first step in creation. God, the creator of all, imagines, and then creation follows. We, being made in his image, create in the same manner. Our imagination is the divine faculty that allows us to transcend our current circumstances, to rise above what is and to create what can be. In my teachings, I emphasize this over and over. Live in the end. Do not think of what you want as something far off in the future. Imagine it as real now. Feel it as real now. This is faith. This is how prayer works, not by begging a distant God to do something for us, but by assuming the feeling of the wish fulfilled, by knowing that in our imagination it is already done. So I urge you, do not limit yourself by what you see around you, by what your senses tell you. Your senses perceive the world as it is, but your imagination can perceive the world as it could be, as it should be, as it will be if only you believe and act upon this belief. For I am are the two most powerful words in any language, and what you attach to them, you become. Remember, you are not a mere mortal being, subject to the whims of fate. You are a creator in your own right, a divine being with the power of I am at your disposal. Use it wisely, use it lovingly, and watch as your world transforms before your very eyes.